Welcome to the demonstration of the sync capabilities between NetSuite and NetSuite Planning and Budgeting. Starting on the NetSuite Home Dashboard, I've added a portlet to view recent sync activities between NetSuite and NetSuite Planning and Budgeting, or NSPB. I've also added a portlet with direct links to my favorite forms and dashboards. The Planning and Budgeting tab on the top menu centralizes my synchronization tools, setup features, job management, and provides navigation to NSPB. From the Jobs menu, we see some of what's possible to synchronize, view, and manage. For example, the Job Calendar provides a view of scheduled jobs. Let's look at the types of synchronization jobs you can perform in the Manage Jobs menu. The sync can be used to schedule multiple types of jobs. And in the description, we can see that each job can be used to sync different NetSuite transactions and segments. As a best practice, groups are created to manage multiple activities. Here is a job which syncs the income statement. Let's edit this so you can see the various options. From the Job Parameters tab, I define the period range. In this case, my income statement will synchronize for last month and this month. I can use these NetSuite relative terms, or I can use NSPB substitution variables. On the Schedule tab, I can control the frequency. Let's change the frequency of this load to run daily, and it will run this at 2 a.m. On the Options tab, I can set a post-process plugin. In this case, I've selected the Import Budget Data plugin. So after this job synchronizes the income statement, budget data will be loaded back into NetSuite. I've outlined options for managing and viewing synchronization jobs. Now let's look at how we can utilize NetSuite planning categories to create groupings and alternate hierarchies in NSPB. I'll access my customer view by going to List, Relationship. Notice I have a planning and budgeting category with each customer categorized. I can change the category from this view or by editing a specific customer. For example, I'll drill into Abbott. From the Custom tab, I can change the category for this customer or create a new category. I'll go ahead and add a new category and name it Diamond. Then assign this category to Abbott. The sync creates planning categories for customer, vendor, items, as well as all NetSuite segments to create alternate hierarchies in NSPB. To execute the sync, I'll navigate back to Manage Jobs. I'll execute the full NetSuite sync. Here I can define any job parameters or options and execute. Back on the Manage Jobs section, I see the job status is in process. Transactional data and segment changes, including the new customer planning category, are now synchronizing with NetSuite planning and budgeting. I can refresh to update the status. Once the job completes, I'll go home, then navigate to the CFO dashboard in NSPB. Notice the revenue by customer category graph displays the diamond category we added to NetSuite. Expanding the graph and drilling into diamond, I see the customers with this category. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.